So I'm a natural liar, though. I was fine. a lawyer for a long time. I know. What happens to people when they're, when they're under interrogation is that if they're guilty, there'll be certain shifts in emotion as they go through the interview. Hmm. Uh, but this is just a very basic, simple game, if you like, um, just to demonstrate to, to you that you know we can pick up certain tells if we want to look for. And what we need to do with this is, is we need to get a baseline for truth and for lies with you. Mm -hmm. But if you take hold of that in your right hand for me, mm -hmm. and then all we need to do for you is say, I'm holding the chip in my right hand. I'm holding the chip in my right hand. Okay. So as I look at you, although there's no, there's no kind of big consequence to being discovered, um, I'm just looking at in terms of like your blink rate, where your blood goes, it's quite warm where we are, so obviously I have to compensate for that. But I'm looking at breathing, so three or four sort of channels that I'm already looking for. Mm. So if you say again for me. I'm holding the chip in my right hand. Okay, so if you swap hands for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then say so I'm holding the chip in my left hand. I'm holding the chip in my left hand. Okay, so now we've kind of waited for truth. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same for, for deception. So if you now say to me, I'm holding a red chip in my hand. I'm holding a red chip in my hand. Okay, so straight away you blink twice, so blink weight increases. Mm. That's one of the first things that, that happens. So, the, the real way to hold a chip is so we've got um, that's kind of a, a visual representation because um, mm -hmm. you could change your mind and we wouldn't know. So all I want you to do for me now is put your hands behind your back. I want you to just choose one hand or the other, any you will know. And then basically, if you lean in for me, mm -hmm. reach out with your hands like that when you're ready. Forward. Okay. So is it here? Yes. Is it here? Yes. Is it here? Yes. Is it here? Yes. yes. Okay, so you can lie to me or you can tell me the truth in terms of which hand you've got the chip in. Mm -hmm. Lies or truth, you tell me. I've got it in my left hand. Say again? I have it in my left hand. Okay, I think it's actually in that one, isn't it? I think you've, I think you've kept it in my hand. You're right. Okay, so let's go again. You had a slight what we call micro expression on your nose. So even though it's, there's no real consequence to this, a micro, -expression. micro expression, which is a fleeting flash of emotion that lasts only a fifth of a second. Now, people in the interview, if they're innocent, and they say, I'm really happy to talk to you about, about what's going on, the most faked emotion is a smile. Okay, so we, we fake a smile when we're embarrassed, when we're anxious, or maybe we're not feeling great, and we just say, yeah, I feel great, well, thanks for asking, but I'm good, even though we don't. Um, but then if I'm guilty, and I say, yes, I'm really happy to talk to you, if I suddenly flash a micro expression of fear, which is, but it's a fifth of a second. Why is that person suddenly shifted from happiness to fear of an internal emotion? So that's kind of how this works. So we'll go again. So is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. Is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. So again, same process. You can lie or tell the truth. Okay. What are you going to say? Which hand is it in? Uh, it's in my right hand. You mean truthfully, isn't that one? You kept the thing on. Okay. So, so for you, your tad is double blink rate, mm. and you've got a slight flick on the side of your nose when you're truthful. So in terms of how we apply that in a real, t real life setting, is that when we're interviewing somebody, we're looking for baseline of the suspect. So when we're, at, when we're actually filling in paperwork, that's part of a process where we're establishing a baseline. So, you know, when the person's semi-relaxed, you know, what is the blink rate? Where do they look with their eyes? So where people look at the rise is, is sort of significant as well, how they process information. So I'm looking eventually for about seven or eight different talents. So if someone's comfortably, um, they're fairly animated and they're talking at a certain pitch rate and a volume, mm -hmm. um, if they become um, stressed, their brain enters a situation called detection apprehension. And what tends to happen is they will overcompensate eye contact mm -hmm. because the myth is that liars can't look you in the eye. So liars will tend to overcompensate eye contact mm -hmm. uh, to, in an attempt to, to really oversell that lie to you. And they'll tend to make grandiose statements like, I swear to God, I swear all my children. I never did that. So there's lots of verbal things that come in as well. But essentially, just in terms of what we did today, you know, no matter who somebody is or how trained, well trained they are, mm -hmm. um, we can, you know, bring out those tells and gestures.